Greetings. So we're going to talk about MSI Afterburner integration with Awesome Miner. This looks very cool. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting my mining pool and then I'm going to go to GPU settings. Now when you first go to set this up you're going to get an error message and what you'll want to do is ignore that and then click here on learn more. This talks about how you can change your GPU settings and you, know, you can apply different profiles it looks like for different types of pools or types of algorithms uh, but the way you want to get started with this is click on the MSI link below and then you'll see this downloads tab once you kind of navigate through all this fancy graphics you're going to want to download the afterburner client on the, the machine that's going to basically orchestrate and you're going to need the MSI afterburner on any system that you're going to try to remotely administer once you load the MSI afterburner remote server and I don't know if this is this holds true for other operating systems but for Windows 10 you have to double click on it again to actually activate it so now it's activated as a remote server we're gonna go ahead and go back into the GPU settings and now you'll see that you have these different profiles so in this case I made a default profile that I just saved and then I also went in and created one called OC and I did a couple other tests uh, you want to be careful with these profiles. You can blue screen your computer or all of the computers that you're messing with. I'm going to reload this profile and then I'm going to go back to the default profile. So we're going to load the default and hit apply. And as you can see it says external profile applied and it messes with the setting. Even if you're not running multiple systems this could really be beneficial to just test out different profiles without having to jack with the graphics card or to remember what your default settings were. The reason I'm adjusting the clock speed of card number one is simply because it's running really cool compared to the other one so I'm hoping I can squeeze a little more hashing power out of it. You know if it gets terribly hot I'll adjust this profile and then lower it. So uh, that's a introduction to Afterburner on Awesome Miner. I hope you found this useful. Feel free to share any comments below if you have any advanced uh, tips or tricks once you start playing with this.